What's up everybody, Brandon here and I am back with another action figure review. In front of us we're taking a look at the all new Bat Tech from Spin Master. Some super awesome stuff, some brand new figures in the 3.75 inch scale. Ones that we haven't seen before, new vehicles, new accessories, new packaging for a new year. Pretty awesome stuff, let's get right into it. We got Batman vs. Bane in the Moto Tank vs. Bane Batman 2 pack with a ton of extra gear in there. Super, super awesome stuff. I'm really digging this box art, you guys. They really, really went all out here. Wait till you get to the back. No, that is not the toys at all. That is actual art for the packaging for Bat Tech. Absolutely awesome stuff. On the side, on the top, we got the Gotham Skyline. Very cool. And at the bottom, if you need the UPC, there it is. Taking a look at the next one. So that one was 20 bucks. This one was 13. This is Bat Tech Battle Armor Batman. Tech Armor Batman. Very cool stuff. Kind of reminds me of like a uh, yellow or blue lantern construct. Very cool stuff. So I think if Batman was a blue lantern, that would be pretty cool. But uh, I think he was yellow in the comic books. Very cool stuff. For 13 bucks, that is a pretty awesome toy. We got Riddler, a new villain in new packaging, first edition. Uh, it looks like on the back now you open them this way instead of the other with, uh, with the packaging having the slits in the front for the accessories. Very cool stuff. And then this, this is massive. For 20 bucks, you get Batman versus the Joker with tech armor. And Joker's got a pretty awesome robot there. And you can see that it opens. That's the gimmick on the box. Very cool stuff. And the top is the Gotham City skyline with, of course, Wayne Tower. And the side. And the back. Very cool. And the other side, not much there. And then the UPC. Here we go. All right, you guys. Awesome figures. I'm really, really excited for this. Let's get him out of the packaging. Stay tuned. Okay, for Riddler, his accessories are on the back. Uh, we open it like this. Okay, so double layers. And the first one. Oh, perfect. Exactly what we need with every Riddler accessory, his cane. That's probably the most important accessory we'll get for our Riddler figure. What's this? A uh, briefcase? Okay. And our last one is a sonar. Interesting. Maybe for some mind control. Very cool stuff. Awesome. All right, you guys, we got all of our figures out of the packaging, and they look awesome. Starting with the Riddler, I really, really do like the way that this guy looks, and I love the attention to detail that Spin Master gave him. You can see the crease in his suit, the lines, so it shows that he's really definitely wearing a suit. Um, they could have just made it simple plastic, but I, I really, really appreciate the attention to detail. And he looks awesome, you guys. Aside from the 1966, like, original-looking Riddler with question marks and a jumpsuit all over him, um, this is it. This is, like, the standard Riddler, and I think they absolutely nailed it. Taking a look at the head sculpt a little bit better, I really do like this guy a lot. For Riddler's articulation, it's pretty good, pretty decent. Moving in his head side to side, his arms come out, forward, back. There's a bend and a twist at the elbow. No waist articulation, no wrist articulation. His legs come out, forward. They don't go back, hindered here. And then there's a bend and a twist at the knee. And that's about it for Riddler. A really cool looking figure. Taking a look at Riddler's accessories, I don't think this is really a briefcase. It's like a uh, remote or maybe a control, something like that. It's a semi-translucent brown plastic. And then taking a look at the rest of his accessories, his little sonar gun. Looks pretty cool. It's also a translucent brown. And then his cane, same deal. It is a translucent gold brown color. And they look really good. Riddler comes with some really good accessories. And I love that they're exclusive to him. 
and not, you know, gear that Batman's going to use to fight him. I love that he doesn't have any blue lines on him from the tech gear situation or deco. So, yeah, you guys, a very cool figure. He was like 8 bucks at Target, 10 out of 10, a great villain. Taking a look next at the tech armor Batman versus Joker 2-pack with the robot. The Batman looks really awesome, you guys. He is a translucent blue, and man, does he look awesome. The only problem with mine, I'm going to try uh, to focus a little bit better here so you guys can see. Mine has a chip in the eyebrow, which really sucks. Um, that's probably the worst thing about this figure in particular. But he doesn't come with any accessories or anything like that. Um, so that's also a bit of a bummer, especially because the, the Bane Batman 2-pack comes with so many accessories. Still, though, a really, really cool looking figure. This translucent blue Batman is exclusive to this set, and he looks awesome. And they are still using the original sculpt here with no differences whatsoever. So I really like that. I do like the head sculpt. Everything about this guy is great. His articulation, uh, moving in his head side to side, uh, a little bit hindered maybe by the new paint deco. I'm not sure. Mine's not moving too much. His arms come out, forward, back. There's a bend and a twist at the elbow. No waist articulation. His legs come out, forward, back. Not very much. And there is a bend and a twist at the knee. And that's about it for Batman. A really cool looking figure. One that I'm really happy to have exclusive to the two-pack. Taking a look next at the Joker. This guy is awesome. I really love that they did this. I saw the single carded version as well. Uh, I have him. I'm probably not going to open him. I love this deco right here how it is glossy and metallic joker is finally dressed for a fight with batman um <laughs> look at that he's got one military combat boot and one regular dress shoe very cool very funny i do like it though a lot um <laughs> very joker-esque taking a look at his backside he has a utility belt which is really cool and all in all, just a really cool looking figure. I think this is the same head sculpt, but we'll do some comparisons in a minute and see if that's the case. A very cool looking figure. I really, really do like this guy a lot. Um, I wish he came with some accessories too. Unfortunately not, just the robot. So we've got moving in the head side to side. His arms come out, forward, back. There's a bend and a twist at the elbow. His legs come out forward they don't go back there's a cut and a bend and a twist and that's about it for the joker a really cool looking figure now for joker's robot i already got some gripes with this thing looking at it it looks cool it looks really awesome and i think that's the first main selling point of course that you want in any toy you want it to look cool but once you get past that this thing really doesn't do much and it is um kind of weirdly put together we got a top piece that doesn't stay up like if you want to see joker's head and then we got the second piece which connects to the arms that comes apart up and then we got a third piece which is back here so this thing is pretty weird so we got now you can kind of see one two and three and then that connects to this but None of it locks into place. So there's another problem. Um, I guess I'm not sure why. I can understand it not locking uh, from a, a child standpoint that, you know, like I remember with some of my old Batman toys, the hatches on the locks would break. So if they were to put uh, something here to make that lock into place, it could break. So they just decided not to include it all together. I feel like there's going to be a better way to do this. Um, taking a look at the paint deco a little bit better. I like that it says ha 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 everywhere. Um, his arms, they move. There's no missile projectiles here. Uh, I kind of wish that there were. And that's really it. Only two points of articulation. The legs don't move at all. I can definitely see this being reused for Lex Luthor. I think that makes the most sense in a Lex Superman 2-pack. 
Um, Lex has been the hardest one for me to find so far. I don't know why, but uh, I have not found him once. So let's try this. See if we can uh, put Joker in there. All right. And like that. All right. And there's Joker. There he is in his robot. Translucent enough so you can see that he is definitely in there. Wreaking havoc on the Batman. Cool stuff. For 20 bucks, it's not a bad set. I just wish it did a few more things and came with a few more accessories. But at the same time, uh, if you think about it, like two $8 figures and a $4 robot, then that makes sense. We're just missing some accessories. So yeah, there you go, you guys. Joker vs. Batman, the Tech Armor 2-pack. Taking a look next at the Bat Tech Batman with Tech Armor, his robot. I got to say, this is a really, really cool looking figure. Uh, even though he's not translucent and he was 13 bucks with a robot and no accessories, this guy looks way cooler to me than the previous Batman, the translucent one. Um, kind of reminds me of like if he was a Blue Lantern, like how I was talking about earlier. But also, this really reminds me of when he sat in Metron's chair in the new 52 Justice League story for the Dark Side War. So I really do like this Batman a lot. Again, this is the same classic sculpt that we've been seeing so far with this line for Spin Master. Um, and there is no gold behind the bat. I think that's a first for me. Or at least that's what I'm starting to see with Bat Tech. And I really do like the way that this figure looks. An awesome looking Batman. So he's got movement in his head, side to side. His arms come out, forward back there's a bend and a twist his elbow his legs come out pretty wide uh, they go forward back there's a cut at the hip and a bend and twist at the knee and that's about it for batman a really really cool looking figure now the gimmick what he comes with uh, his batman robot or bat tech armor robot um, this thing looks all right it is a big hunk of blue, and uh, it only has two points of articulation. So this robot, um, doing a full 360 here, it's, it's got zero paint apps on the back and two points of articulation in the arms, and that's about it. He opens up just like the previous one, the Joker one, in three different spots, and that's about it. And um, he looks kind of like the one from when Batman was uh, Commissioner Gordon. And uh, I forget what he's called. Rookie? Yeah. You could customize this to look like Rookie for sure. That would be really cool. What I wish uh, was that there was uh, missile projectiles right here. That would be awesome. I think maybe they're skipping out on that on purpose. Maybe for safety reasons. I'm not sure. But some leg articulation would have been awesome or something of that nature. Uh, let's try and put Batman in there and see how that goes. So I think the probably the most difficult part here is going to be the cape. Figuring out what to do with that. He does fit in there pretty good. His legs go into the legs of the robot. And then I'm just going to try to tuck that cape back in there like that. There we go. And unlike the Joker robot, you can open the top part so you can see Batman in the robot. And he looks pretty cool. Awesome stuff. Again, only two points of articulation in there. But, um, but yeah, I really do like the way that this one looks and the way it came out for 13 bucks. Man, that's a, that's a steal. Could have sold it to us for 15 with a couple more accessories and, uh, it, it would have been really good that way too. But hey, I like it. Awesome stuff. Taking a look next at the Moto Tank Bane vs. Batman 2-pack. This one is pretty awesome and really interesting because we get a brand new figure, Bane, for the first time. And he looks awesome. Um, they really went with the classic look for Bane on this one. Kind of very similar to how that they did uh, the Riddler as well. And I really, really like that. I can appreciate it. 
with the last line of 3.75 inch figures, the evergreen line that Mattel did, they really did their, uh, their own spin on these figures. And, um, it was different, very different. Um, I like getting back to the classic figures, um, but also having new things for Batman as well. And so if you take a look at the side here, you can see that the green tube goes down Bane's back and across to his arm. And then there's a gap right here. And I think that's because of the motion of articulation. Um, and the same thing here, you're going to find that that gap happens. Um, unfortunately, uh, there's nothing that you can really do about that. They could have probably painted it green, but I don't think that would have looked good either. So if you really want the full effect of what it looks like, um, and Batman comes with a whole bunch of stuff, by the way, to cut that green line or green wire, uh, that's what it looks like. And it's pretty cool. I like it. Unfortunately, Bane comes with no accessories, uh, but he is a really, really cool looking figure. I like this guy a lot. Um, man, what an awesome figure. And very uh, minimal paint, but... Um, you don't really need much for Bane. So I really do like the way that this guy looks. Awesome stuff. And there is a shiny silver on his back for all of the venom that is stored in there that gives him his strength. A really cool looking figure. So for his articulation, moving at his head side to side, arms come out, forward, back. There's a bend and a twist at the elbow. Is there wrist articulation? No. No wrist articulation. How about waist articulation? Nope, none of that either. His legs come out and forward and back just a little bit. There's a cut at the hip, but there is no knee articulation, unfortunately. I think they probably figured out that this guy is going to be way too top heavy. And the only way to get him to stand is going to be uh, by keeping his legs in place. So that way they can't bend at the knee. But hey, a really, really cool looking figure. One that I am extremely happy to have. Next, taking a look at the exclusive Tech Armor Batman that comes in this two-pack. You guys, this is a first. The Tech Armor Batman is a brand new sculpt. And there is the single-carded version uh, that is the standard. And then there is the one that is like really translucent and deluxe. And then there's this one in the two-pack. So at first, I thought it was just a brand new head sculpt uh, based off the armored Batman, but it looks like this is a brand new sculpt entirely. And we'll get into that a little bit later when we do some comparisons. Um, and I can grab an armored Batman and show you, but yeah, you guys, this looks like a brand new sculpt to me altogether. And I got to say, it looks pretty good, uh, for them to make a brand new sculpt after the fact, uh, of the initial release of the line. Man, that is cool back there. I really like that. Um, yeah, it speaks volumes to what Spin Master can do. And they continue to pump out new sculpts like there is no tomorrow on all of these figures. And it makes me think, what have we gotten all this time with Justice League Unlimited and Young Justice and DC Universe Classics and all of that stuff when we get brand new figures all the time with Spin Master? And not to mention McFarlane. It is a major step in the right direction. So awesome awesome stuff big kudos to spin master here i really do like this a lot so head articulation is pretty good side to side and the shoulders out forward back bend and twist at the elbow no waist articulation no wrist articulation and the legs come out forward and back just a little bit we got a cut at the hip and a bend and twist at the knee very cool an awesome figure, and he comes with a ton of accessories. Really cool stuff. This is how you know you're getting bang for your buck. Look at all of these accessories that come in the Bane Batman 2-pack, and look at this awesome moto tank. It is a Batman motorcycle uh, fitted to look like the Tech Gear stuff, and it looks really cool. Unfortunately, it doesn't do anything. And these guns don't fire any projectiles, which is a major bummer. But nonetheless, it looks like a really cool vehicle. And uh, I really do like it a lot. One thing that I found myself uh, doing with this, uh, instead of you know just using it as like a, a piece in the background or setting it up in a bat cave or rolling it, 
Um, I took a play from the old uh, Justice League action toys. And those ones had the gimmick where you could attach accessories to the vehicle. I found myself doing that here just a little bit. And uh, it actually works really well. If you want to display yours like this, I highly suggest it. It takes some time, but uh, you kind of get what I'm doing here. You can just add these little accessories. And the fact that the accents are blue definitely helps. And uh, yeah, it just looks really, really cool. I like it a lot. You can even put one more right here. Awesome stuff. See, that is awesome. That looks cool. I dig that. So man, if you got this thing and uh, you get these accessories, it almost feels like all of the accessories that should have come with these guys, they just saved them and shoved them all into that box as much as they could. Uh, but definitely awesome, awesome accessories. Testing out all of the accessories. Here he is with his blaster or cannon. There he is with his jetpack. And it looks pretty cool. I like that one a lot. Nice. Here he is with two long batarangs, two regular batarangs, a sword and a shield. The same shield cut in half to look like two blades, an old grapple gun and a new grapple gun. And here he is with some stuff to slice up Bane. You can see that they use one of the batarangs to kind of mimic that effect on this gear. And this one kind of looks like Wolverine claws. Really cool stuff, so that way he can slice uh, Bane's Venom, wherever he gets that from. Very cool. And here he is on the Moto Tank, which unfortunately doesn't look that good. Uh, I'm not sure why they wouldn't try putting Batman on this before sculpting with a final sculpt and selling it, but uh, he can't really get his legs on there. Uh, in the position that it, it should be to rest on that. Um, on this side, it's a similar deal. Both of his hands can grip this steering wheel, though. But unfortunately, uh, yeah, it just looks a little odd with, with the situation with his legs. But he does fit on there. It is a cool piece, one that you can definitely display in your bat cave or in your setup. Very cool stuff. Here is a size comparison so we can check out our new Bat Tech Batmans with some of the previous Batmans from the past. They look pretty cool. We can see that this is definitely an all new sculpt for the new Bat Tech Batman. It is not like the bat armor that we've seen in the past and they look pretty cool. Um, the new translucent Batman here with some of his previous counterparts and our new Bat Tech Batman that looks like Metron uh, here with some of his older, older partners in crime. Very cool. These guys fit in very, very nicely together. I got to say, I really do like that a lot. And here's our new Bat Tech figures with some members from the Batman family. I got to say, these guys fit in well together, especially Nightwing. It's like this whole line was made for him. And uh, everybody compliments his color scheme. Very cool stuff. I think the next one that they do after Bat Tech, whatever it is, it should incorporate the color red. I think there's so much to do there. Man, that would be cool. Especially that armor that he has uh, when he goes to Apocalypse, that Hellbat armor. That would be really cool. Red. Spin Master, if you can hear me, red. That's got to be the next color to choose. Here's a look at some of our Spin Master villains. These guys look awesome. Definitely Bane is the tallest of the bunch. He uh, definitely towers over uh, Clayface and Killer Croc, which is pretty cool. Uh, and these guys fit in pretty well. Very awesome stuff. Spin Master is doing a great job with our villains so far, and they look phenomenal together. For the Joker comparison, they look similar, but I think we definitely have two different sculpts here. Uh, the head sculpts, to me, definitely look different. Um, similar, definitely to an extent, but different. And I think all of the sculpt, even in the forearms, is different. The only thing that might be similar is this leg right here. Uh, just that one leg, not the other side. 
and nothing else. So we got almost an entirely new sculpt for the Joker. For the Riddler, almost everything here is a new sculpt on this guy. Even the side, uh, the, the side skirt here that he's got on his coat is sculpted different. One ends in a point, one ends squared. And uh, even in the shoes, even in the, uh, <laughs> the legs, my goodness, look at where the pants end. It is different on both of these guys. Similar, very similar, but different and very cool. I love that for $8, we get so many new sculpts so many times over. It's wonderful, and Spin Master's doing a great job. And for a size comparison of our vehicles and our robot, here's the old Bat Cycle with the new Moto Tank. And my goodness, the Moto Tank is huge in comparison to the old Bat Cycle. And that Bat Cycle was 20 bucks with a Clayface and a Batman. And this new one here, this Moto Tank, comes with Bane, Batman, and a ton of accessories. The bike is a lot bigger with more paint apps, and it's at the same price point for 20 bucks. So Spin Master has definitely stepped up their game. And it's pretty awesome to see. Very cool stuff. And then for these guys, our robots in the store, in the packaging, I thought they were the same sculpt at first, but they're definitely different. And you can see Joker is a lot wider than Batman um, and just a little bit bigger. And so that's definitely a factor to think of there. But they look awesome. These are great to display and to add to the collection. Very cool stuff. All right, you guys, that about does it for this action figure review. We got the Joker vs. Batman Tech Armor 2-pack with the purple robot. You can find that one for 20 bucks at Walmart. We also got the Moto Tank Bane vs. Batman 2-pack. You can find that one at Walmart for 20 bucks. And then we got the Tech Armor Batman with the Bat Tech uh, Blue Robot. That one's $13 at Target. And then shout out to my buddy Scott for that Riddler figure. You can find him for $8 at Target. Awesome stuff, you guys. Spin Master continues to deliver new figures, new sculpts, and new play sets, uh, and new vehicles. It's awesome. And I usually collect these ones in the box, and I find them late. But these ones I was able to find early, open up, and I got to say they're awesome. I love the posability and the playability. We continue to get this new stuff at an amazing price point from Spin Master, and I love it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and what you want to see out of this line, what you want to see Spin Master make next. I can tell you for myself it's going to be a new Batgirl, a Red Hood, and... Uh, Man, maybe some more Justice League figures. That would be really, really, really cool. Anyways, you guys, thank you so much. The likes, comments, shares, support, and subscriptions have been phenomenal. You guys are knocking it out of the park, and I love all of the support, and you continue to grow my channel. I couldn't do it without you. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate the support. Once again, I'm Brandon, and thanks for watching.